EPA Des Moines Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for May 24th, 2024. It is Friday, end of the work week, start of the holiday weekend, and the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family owned and operated in brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street, and their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week, have a full food menu, plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in or takeout, along with local wine and cocktails. The second anniversary of the Tap House location is coming up this weekend. They'll be hosting a series of special events between today, May 24th, and Monday, May 27th, which is, of course, happening to coincide with Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. For details about that and all of their upcoming events, please visit their Facebook page. They have a lot of information about that, what they're going to be doing each and every day through that, the, uh, the next four days. And uh, to place online orders, please visit their website at McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. Okay, so today we have a stalled frontal battery off to the south of the region. Uh, this is the same boundary that came through yesterday. There was actually some uh, pretty decent severe weather uh, that was that they came in the morning. It's not usual that you see severe weather in the morning, uh, especially this time of year. We need in July and August is a little bit more common, but uh, we don't really see that too much. And we had one renegade cell that just hit had right toward, right toward the Lehigh Valley and just blew up. So the western part of Allentown, going straight through parts of Bethlehem all the way over to Phillipsburg, experienced some serious wind damage in association with. Uh, some six, what what I estimated to be 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts and and it's unofficial because the National Weather Service is the one that uh, ones that go out and do storm surveys. A lot of speculation about that being a tornado, but I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing, and I'm telling you that it was a straight line unidirectional directional wind. So you can get that with uh, with some thunderstorms sometimes that are just a little more robust, and you have a a strong wind that mimics a downburst that mimics tornado damage uh the only difference is it's instead of going in all different directions like you would see with tornado just throwing things everywhere in this case it was all in one direction uh so that it was a downburst associated with that thunderstorm and 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts were common to take down many trees along that path okay so you see a lot of damage photos yesterday because of that but i keep hearing things about well it had to be a tornado just because it's doing that doesn't mean it's a tornado okay it's not uh, if you have a tornado hit, you're going to know it, right? Uh, but this is this is not uh, what what happened yesterday. But there were, were very potent storms earlier in the morning, and it wasn't really expected to be that severe. Just a very loud noisemaker because of the nocturnal inversion. We had that, but well, we had one that just ramped up real quickly and gave us some severe storms. I don't expect that today. With that cold front pushing off to the south, we have mostly sunny skies. 82 to 86 and some of you are going to be like well what the hell is it? it's a cold front right what's well, supposed to be colder well it, it doesn't this time of year cold fronts come through all the time doesn't necessarily mean the temperatures are going to drop so much and we're not going to see much of a drop today 82 to 86 is still very warm and warmer than average this time of year the only difference is now the humidity is going to be notably lower today than what we saw here on uh, on Thursday and the day before okay so the humidity is going to lower a little bit with that front off to the south and that is going to be situated right down here okay that is going to be coming northward on Saturday or overnight actually overnight is going to start moving northward mm -hmm. and along that boundary there's going to be the opportunity for some late day late day very late in the day on Saturday another uh, chance for thunderstorms but mainly in our western counties okay I'll get over the name I have res future simulated radar just to show you what this is doing, this is looking at uh, 7 p.m. On, on Saturday. So the entire day prior to this is dry. Uh, so those of you that, that were were messaging me and uh, you know, leaving comments on social media about, oh, here we go, another weekend, another, another rainy weekend. We're not going to have a rainy weekend. Uh, most of the day here on Saturday is going to be dry. Once we get to late afternoon and early evening, you have the opportunity for some thunderstorms, again, mainly in our western areas, according to the NAM here. Now, the high-resolution rapid refresh keeps us a little bit more intact and brings in a lot earlier. I will tell you that this is not really the range the high-resolution rapid refresh is used, but it does show these holding together a little bit, going all the way into the evening, late afternoon and evening. 
with these scattered thunderstorms on Saturday. So it is a possibility you could have something a little bit more organized on Saturday, but it's going to be, again, after the entire day is dry. So if you have something to do on Saturday, parties, picnics, whatever, for Memorial Day weekend, most of the day is going to be dry until you get to the evening, and then you might have to duck for cover for a little bit before those pass, and then after that you can resume whatever you're doing, uh, sitting by the campfire, drinking, whatever you're going to do uh, this weekend. Uh, but it, it does look like it's that you know Saturday is not going to be too bad overall during the daylight hours. Okay, uh, once we get to Sunday, uh, there is a just a stray chance for a shower here in the afternoon, but most of the day is just partly cloudy. And again, that stray shower chance is going to be a quick, brief, less than fifteen minute shower, and that's it. If you do in fact have that, most areas will not have a shower on Saturday. But there is a chance, okay? So again, when we get to the, we, and this is a, uh, a good rule of thumb for any of you uh, young forecasters that are looking to maybe get into meteorology and forecasting like I'm doing, operational meteorology and conveying message to the public. When you get into a, into a holiday weekend, you want to err on the side of caution on every single day. If there's even the slightest chance of rain, just mention it because there's an opportunity for something you don't want to uh, say, oh, yeah, it's going to be fine and partly cloudy and no rain at all. And then somebody gets rained on and uh, you'll have people coming at you. OK, so there is the opportunity for a very stray shower here on Sunday. But this is not something I would normally mention if it wasn't a holiday weekend. Sunday looks OK overall for most areas. And, and if you get something, it's going to be a brief light shower and that's it. That cannot be said about the holiday itself. Memorial Day Monday does look like it's going to be a wash from start to finish scattered showers and thunderstorms and very numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the entire day going all the way through the evening so i don't expect that if you have any outdoor plans on monday that they're going to look too good okay if you're going to have anything scheduled or you want to schedule something do it over this weekend you should be okay uh speaking of that before i go any further uh this is the last video we're going to have until monday we'll have an update on the monday system sunday night when i record it for monday so I will have a ne the next video. There's not going to be a weekend video forecast. This serves as the holiday weekend video forecast, so to speak. So of, I won't have one on Saturday morning like I normally do. But I will have one on Monday, Sunday night and Monday. Okay. So uh, we'll be able to update this. And hopefully this improves if you are going to hold out for something on Monday. Although most models are suggesting you're not going to have much hope for Monday. But if it does change, I will have that reflected in the next video I do, which is recorded late Sunday night for monday okay we're going to be on normal schedule here next week even though monday's a holiday okay uh so once we get to uh once we get to sunday night i'll record that video i will tell you that the uh, local forecasts on our website are not going to follow the same thing we're going to have forecast the seven day forecast we do on the website for each individual region we will have those update updated friday night for saturday but then we're not going to be doing a sunday night for monday so it's kind of like the backwards of what I'm doing in the video. So there's going to be something that you're going to see some forecast somewhere, either written or this video that I do every single day. Uh, typically, you'll have something that's going to be uh, give you the updated forecast here in one way or the other, okay? Uh, so once we get past this system here on Monday, again, there could be numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms during the day on the Memorial Day holiday itself. And then once we get into early next week, Isolated shower possible for parts of our area here on Tuesday, but not a real big deal. Once we get to Wednesday, we have a reinforcing cold front on the lead of a very brief trough, and it could be some late day scattered thunderstorms on Wednesday as well. We are going to turn cooler in the Wednesday, Thursday time frame of next week in the wake of this system, and uh, we're looking at temperatures that are going to be in the upper 60s. Very comfortable, but not what we've been dealing with lately with temperatures in the 80s, certainly. So it's going to be a little bit cooler uh, to start uh well actually the middle mid, mid to late part latter part of next week will be a little bit cooler than average and then we might recover after we get past those couple of days but it does look like uh, we have uh, you know any unsettled weather continuing into the tuesday wednesday time frame after the memorial day holiday but nothing overwhelming it doesn't look like at this point again i'll have an update on monday morning which is the next daily forecast video we'll have i hope you all have a wonderful memorial day holiday weekend please be safe and I will see you on the other side next week. I'm EPA DBA meteorologist Bobby Martish. That is your outlook for May 24th, 2024. Have a great Friday and a very safe and happy Memorial Day holiday weekend. Take care.